Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are talking about an at-home gel manicure. Now you guys know I love my nails done at all times, at all, all times. I feel like I have tried it all from nail art, nail stickers, at home, gel manicure where you do your own little UV light. That's not what we're talking about, but I have tried that out. I love a good manicure always. I feel like if I don't have nail polish on, I'm naked. So like I have to have nail polish on of some sort at all times, but a few months ago, I made the huge mistake of getting acrylic nails. I know, what was I thinking? I feel like I saw too many Instagram posts with long nails, like claw nails, and I just got sucked in and I was like, I want that. And what ended up happening is I really damaged my nails quite a bit when they took them off. I don't think they took them off the right way. They like really like peeled those suckers off and it was so painful. Oh my God, I can't even. So then I went back to my gel manicures because I just felt like the ridges on my nail were so uneven. I had to do something to kind of disguise that. And then I reached a point where I realized I was spending way too much money and way too much time, way too much of my life in general in a chair at a nail salon, which to me, I think it's fun getting a manicure every once in a while, but sometimes, am I not the only one, but sometimes like, it takes a couple of hours and you're just sitting there and like having them soak it off and it's just kind of boring. I don't know, I just feel like when I'm sitting here and I can't do anything else but stare at the wall, I am I start going crazy, I can't do it. We are talking about a new launch from Essie that is a two-step at-home gel manicure. It is called Gel Couture. Uh, the first time I tried it, I did it all wrong. I'm gonna explain what I did wrong and what I tried out this time that made me fully on board with the collection. So I purchased this myself initially, but what I did wrong was I just purchased a bottle and not the top coat. I did not realize how important it was to buy these as a set. You cannot do this at-home gel manicure that doesn't chip and all of these big claims without this guy. You have to have both of them, they want to be together. They are married, they are not breaking up, they are a couple. Just, just stick with me on this. I promise you, if you try these two together, it will change your nail game completely. You will be able to do your nails at home, you won't have to worry about chips, but you have to have this one the color and this one the special top coat. Don't try to like cheap it out and use your own top coat that you already have, it won't work the same. It just won't. I don't need a UVA light, which I really enjoy because sometimes I feel like I am damaging my hands. Like, you know, we avoid the sun like, I, at least I do. I avoid the sun at all costs. I'm like SPF, SPF, SPF. So I feel like if every single week you are jamming your hands in that UVA little light machine, that can't be good for you. Also B, I think it's painful. Call me crazy, but I have had my nails so worn down that when they put that top coat on and you go in there, it hurts. And I know that that can't be good for my nails either. So long story short, I'm on a mission to grow my nails out really healthy, do gel manicures, but this way and not the light way. So these two are the problem solvers and I had to share this with you guys because it actually really really works. This will prevent chipping like crazy. It will blow your mind. I'm the person that I will paint my nails at home and I enjoy painting my own nails. I've gotten quite good at it. I have a video where I show you guys a trick where you can kind of clean up the edges of your nails with your thumb. I'm going to link that below. It's an older video, but it's such a good one as far as like helping you to do an at-home manicure really, really well and have it end up looking perfect. Um, so I love painting my nails at home. I don't mind it. What I do mind is that I usually end up chipping my nails one day after I paint them. There will always be something on the edge or some area that will chip. And for me, my eye goes straight there. It's like having a stain on your shirt or a hole in your shirt. You feel like the whole thing's ruined and you need to start over. So if you are like me and you're a perfectionist with your nails, this is gonna be such a dream item for you. And even if you're not a perfectionist, this is just something that you know you spend your time painting your nails, you want it to last. This lasts for up to 14 days. It is super high shine. I mean, look at my nails right now. They are so shiny. What I'm wearing right now on my nails today 
this is also on my toes. This is Turn and Pose, and this is a really pretty purple that is creamy, and it doesn't have any type of metallic sheen in here. It's just a cream finish. Really, really shiny, really intense in color. I like it because it's very deep and rich in color, but you can still tell that it's purple. It doesn't just look black, which I'm not really so into. But come fall, I am like, I'm all on board with dark nails all the time. It just goes from like dark manicure to dark manicure to dark manicure. I just love this time of year for really rich, jewel tone, intense, creamy polish. So I wanna share with you a few of my favorite shades from the Essie Gel Couture line, which by the way, they did send me all 42 of them. I'm just going to throw that out there. They sent me every single shade that they carry. This was a package I received in the mail. Thank you so much to Essie. I had way too much fun playing with all of this nail polish. I had never had that much nail polish like in front of me in my life at one given time. Like it was just it just was so nice and so much fun and I will probably be doing a giveaway in the future because I don't think I need all 42 shades, but I do have my favorite, so I wanna share with you guys. This one is Model Clicks. Now, I'm holding this in my hand and it looks very similar to Turn and Pose, but this one is more of a red undertone instead of purple. It is so gorgeous. You can tell right away when you paint your nails with this that it is just an even, creamy, beautiful pigmentation. You don't have a lot of streaking. The brush itself is really nice and wide, which I personally enjoy because I feel like you run into a problem with nail polish when you're doing too many strokes on your nails with thinner brushes. So I actually prefer the wider brush and it's great. So this one right here is called Spiked with Style. Again, God, what's wrong with me? Why do I just like all of these darker shades? And then this one, I have plans for this one, okay? You guys know I just did the WTF on the Natasha Denona and I have it right in front of me. And do we see one of the shadows in here and this, they like belong together? I'm gonna paint my nails with this and I'm gonna do some kind of crazy eye look and it will be a good day for nails and makeup. This one is called Twill Seeker. It's just gorgeous. It has this beautiful rich purple, but then it has this teal kind of green micro glitter duochrome type of a vibe in here that is to die for. Then we have the shade Take Me to Thread. Now this would be a lighter shade that I actually really enjoy for fall. I don't like any of your like bright greens, bright blues. I kind of love being very seasonal with my nail wardrobe and it's something, I don't know, it's something I get excited about. It's like the small little things that make you really excited about season to season and fall makes me excited for pumpkin spice everything and deeper nail colors. Anyone else? This one though is one of those lighter shades that still has kind of a mauve fall vibe to me. It's not like a bright pink. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous, really chic color. And again, it's that nice cream finish. These all dry, super, super shiny. I love that. They're so shiny, it's great. So as we can tell, this is definitely a hot product of the week. This is something that I've been trying out diligently behind the scenes for quite a while. And I just had to share this with you guys because it is such an awesome product. And if you paint your nails at home, you're gonna love it because who wants to deal with chips? So I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to go to Essie's page so you can see all 42 shades, but also I'm gonna leave a link for Style Code Live and I will be on the show tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and actually Style Code Live is where I first saw this product. <laughs> they were doing like a manicure runway and girls were like, it was like a close-up of manicures like going down the runway with all the Essie Gel Couture polish and I was like, those look really pretty. Like I love those colors and that's what initially caught my attention with this particular collection. So uh, yeah, thanks Style Code Live. Uh, if you want more great recommendations, you can check out the show tonight. I always hang around in the live chat. So be there and come spend time with me and we can talk about nail polish some more, right? So uh, what more can I say? This is a hot product. Who doesn't love great nails and you guys always ask me questions about what I am wearing on mine so now you know that I am in a phase where I am stepping away from the salon stepping away from the traditional UV light 
gel manicures and doing more of my own thing at home. And let me know if you guys try this out. Tag me on Instagram if you use this at home. I wanna see what colors you chose and how you liked it. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for spending some time with me. Go check out these nail polish colors. They are to die for. You will not be disappointed. All right, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.